Welcome to Webstar Press. This video is linked to previously created tutorial on React To Do app. Links are in description. In this video, we will quickly go through what we created earlier. Then we will refactor and improve this code. We will remove unnecessary code. Then we will improve functions for adding, deleting, editing, and toggling tasks. At the end, there should be less lines of code. It should be clean, understandable, and more maintainable. Let's start refactoring. First of all, I will remove all commas from code. So in our app, we have got app.js. Then we've got components folder. Inside components folder, we've got add task form.jsx to do.jsx update form.jsx. And this is our app.js. Removing commas. Find comma, remove it, find comma, remove it, find comma, remove it, save, and the app is still working. And for this component, find comma. There are no more commas. And here, comma removed. For this component, comma removed. So we've got no commas now. And the app is still working. Then file extensions can also be removed like this dot gsx. Save. And the app is working. File extensions from component imports have been removed. And that's it. Removing commas and file extensions from code is not necessary. It's a matter of personal choice or it depends on project workflow. Before I go further, let me give you overview of this app. In our app, we have this main state for tasks or to-do list. This is to-do list named as to-do. In to-do, each object has got ID, title, and status. We can change status we can add more to-dos, we can update to-dos. Then we have this temp state, new task and update data. Temporary state is used to temporarily hold data as we change it. Then we have few functions for adding task, deleting task, marking task as completed, cancel update, change task, an update task. We have got two forms, update form in a separate component and add task form in a separate component. Data is being passed down to these components, to these forms. Update data and new task. These are from state. The rest of props are pointing towards functions. To add, edit, delete, update data from state. This condition controls the visibility of two forms. If we have something in update data state, we see update form. Otherwise, we see add task form. So this is add task form that is being displayed. If I click at add task, task is added. But if I click this added button, add task form disappeared. And this is update form now. If I cancel it or update it, we have got this add task form. This is controlled by this condition. 
using ternary operator. And if we don't have any tasks or to do's in state in to do, this condition shows a message no tasks. Like if I delete all of these, we'll have this message no tasks. Refresh. So we have these default tasks because we have these in our state. We can remove these and now we have got no tasks. We can add tasks. We can mark these as completed. We can edit these tasks. Task one, update, it was updated. We can delete task. Save. Okay, for form, update form. This is the update form. Update form has got input two buttons to update state and to cancel update. And these are the props that are being passed down. And for the add task form, this form, it's got an input and a button. And these props are being passed down to this component. And this is our to do, this to do component. Whole state containing tasks is being passed down. And then these are for functions to do dot gsx we are importing font awesome here these are the props we are mapping our object and this is single task and this is index index and title are being displayed then we have got these icons icon to mark it as completed icon to edit an icon to delete. So that is the app. Edit. Update and it was updated. New task, add task. It was added. Main purpose of this video is to update, add, edit, delete functions. Those are here. Add task, delete task, mark task as done or completed, cancel task, change task and update task. Let's improve functions to add, delete, edit and toggle tasks. First of all, add task. When we type in this input, we store the text in temp state. When we click add this add task button, we are looking in new task that is temp state. If it has the data, if it's got the data, we are proceeding further. Now we have to prepare the object that will be inserted in state as new task. We only have the text, this title. So we create the ID and keep the status false initially. We prepare the object, this object, and keep it with already stored to-dos. And we update the state. Then we clear the state, new task, and make it empty to clear this form. Now here, I will change these. I will start with this set to-do. and add it here and then this prepared object here save and that's it the rest of it is fine so we just got rid of this line this is more readable and clean than this one so deleting task deleting task has got two lines I will start with set to do. Inside it, I'll just use this whole thing. And that's it. Save, delete, it is working.
here we are just filtering out record with specified id from state we are receiving the id on click of this button then we take the state and filter out the record containing that id so this is better than these two lines now we have mark task as done or completed this one here we are mapping our object and comparing the ids comparing id of each to do with past id if there's a match we are taking that object and changing the status for that object in other case we are returning the task as is and here we are updating the state so this can be refactored i will start with set to do set to do to do dot map task if task ID matches the past ID, then make this change. Else, just return task. So we just eliminated if and else and used ternary operator. Save and it is still working now as you can see this is a lot more better than this code right okay so cancel the update no change here it just emptying the record from state so it's all good change task for the update now this can be refactored first of all its name is confusing i will change it to change holder this is not actually updating the state. This is just holding the change or preparing the change. So it was change task. Now it is change holder. Change holder, change holder. And it is going down to update form. Here is the update form. Change task, change holder, change holder. Save. Okay, now let's go to todo.jsx. Here is this edit. We click this edit button and we populate the text here. Set update data. On click of this button, we are updating the temp state. Here, set update data. Instead of using all these values here, like ID, title, and status, we can just pass this whole task here. Like this. Save. And now this update data has got the whole object. And now for this change, instead of preparing whole object again here, we can just access title value from object and change it. We'll again start from set update data. Then we will take a copy of this state and we'll use only this here. Save. Let's see, edit and it is working. It was not the update. This change was not about the update. It is just preparing the data. And if we change this value from here, it will be changed in state. This is not actual update. This is object prepared to push as update data in state. It has one record or object from state that is updated now in temp state and is ready to be pushed but look at this code this is better than this one again we started with setting state and did everything inside it 
like we did here and here and here. And this is the actual update. When we will click add this update button, then this data should be updated. At this point, we have the ID, we know the ID, we know which object has changed, and it is stored in this state. In this state, the changed ID. Now we have to remove old object with that ID from state and push the updated object from here with the same ID in this state. So this filtered records is confusing. Let's change it to remove old record and then take set to do. This remove old record and this update data. So here old record with that ID was removed the ID that was in this state update data and then the object that we prepared here it was pushed with the records that remained here and then we are just creating the temp state to empty form so this is also a lot more better than this one so is it all working refresh new task New task is being added. Status is being toggled. We can remove the record. We can edit record. Update and it was updated. So it is working. So we made significant changes and removed extra code and improved few functions. This is V2 for the to-do list app in React.js. Link for the code for V2 and V1 are in description. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.